and welcome to Everybody 3D Prints. My name is Ray Shane, and today we're going to do an unboxing of an i3 style printer from a brand new company called Adam Labs in China. The printer is available through Amazon. Um, it runs $379 delivered and it came in three days even though I don't get prime shipping so it's pretty quick delivery. Let's see what we've got. Well packed, formed styrofoam cover. Inside the box we have the uh, already assembled base of the i3 style printer with a heated aluminum bed with glass top, the motor, the um, end stop switch, the uh, tensioner all set up. It's got the racing stripes made popular by the CR10. Oh, we have four wing nuts sitting here, so I'm assuming that the bed is not attached to the base for some reason. So let's carefully flip the whole thing over. Yep. That's the case. Let me put these wing nuts on so I don't have an accident with a falling bed. I don't know why they chose to do it that way, but Forewarned is forearmed, as they say. That's three and four. Well, while we have it turned over, let's take a look at the construction. It's 2020 aluminum extrusion with the V slot profile. You've got two sets of three V slot wheels holding the bed onto the double track. I like the double track. Um, the CR10 smaller machines, as well as um, a number of other machines, uh, have a single track in the middle, and I don't think that's stable enough, so this is nice. Um, the support for the bed seems a little small for the size of the bed, but it's not acrylic. It's some stiff material. It could be a powder-coated metal, or a fiberglass or something, but I like that it's not acrylic because I've had a number of acrylic beds break on me where the uh, tension or the, the pressure from the heated bed presses on the screw holes. Um, here's a look at it. You've got holes in here for where the gantry goes for uh, fixed feet. Turn it back over, show you the front. So, not bad. You've got uh, ends on the aluminum extrusion, so you've got no, no edges showing. Very nice. Put that over here. Nothing else seems to be on the styrofoam. No pockets or anything, so I'm not going to lose anything. So let's put this over here at the top. And underneath we have the gantry and the box um, and some other supplies. So let's look at the gantry. The gantry is a dual motor, dual screw gantry. You've got metal brackets here holding the T-nuts and up here you've got brackets of that same material as supports the heated bed. It looks like a fiberglass I guess. Um, on this side, oh, let's look on this side first. You've got uh, the motor mounted. There's no um, Z and end, end stop switch here. So I'm assuming that's going to go on later. You've got uh, the wires are all encased in a woven sleeve. And there's a drag chain. So you have a woven sleeve inside the drag chain, train, um, drag chain protecting the wires, which is good. 
Uh, the connector here is a JST, a Japan Solidless Terminal uh, plug, and everything seems to be connected to this one little circuit board. It's a direct, direct drive extruder, so there's no Bowden tube, but there's a little piece of PTFE or Teflon tubing to help you get started into the uh, into the extruder. It's spring mounted for tension. Um, very short E3D style heatsink over here, and a small it looks like a V5 style uh, E3D V5 style heat block with the um, thermistor held in by a screw and the standard E3D uh, brass nozzle. They're using the Delrin uh, V-shaped wheels here as well. Nice solid feeling construction. No wobbling in the gantry as I lift it. And moving on, we've got the electronics box. This is not metal. This is acrylic. Um, um, you've got the instructions here. There's two screws on the top and from the look of the instructions there's going to be some sort of uh, spool mount on it. You've got an LCD screen with the dial here. So it's not a touch screen. It's an LCD with a dial selector. On off switch. Um, 110, 220 volt switch. Slot for the uh, SD card plugs for the rest of the connections and the USB plug and on the back a computer standard three uh, three uh, wire connector for the plug so it's a grounded wire which is always good not all the Chinese printers come with grounded wires as we've seen uh, all of the wires are connected to the board apparently, and they're all terminated with JST connectors of various um, numbers of conductors, and every wire has its own label, so that's good. Should be a very easy build. Let's take the electronics, put them to the side for a moment, and now we've got a pre-installation instruction, an assembly specification, and a user guide. What's left in the box are a bag with a wire wrap, wire ties, some extra nuts and bolts, uh, an extra piece of PTFE tube, SD card, SD card reader, um, glue stick, and something that I don't recognize. Um, it's got a metal bottom and looks like strings of wire wrapped up in plastic. I assume we'll find out what that's for when we do the assembly. Here's the uh, acrylic spool holder, filament spool holder, power wire, and T-bracket for the gantry and the bracket and ZN stop. These are M4 bolts, the nice sturdy bolts, and everything has T-nuts on it. So that's nice, no square nuts to worry about. And last in the box is the uh, Phillips screwdriver, a scraper style uh, print removal tool, some white PLA, and a USB cable. And I think that's it. Nothing left, box empty. None of those little cutout pockets that you can lose things in. So I think it's pretty well packed. I like it. Spread this out a bit so you can see Let's put the full installation. And there you go. So that was the unboxing. The next video is going to be the assembly and test print. And then I'll do a third video after I've had some time to play with it for a while and let you know uh, what I think in a full review. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, 
uh, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notification of new videos being posted. And uh, thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you next time.